day of being Coney, and uh, we're trying to thaw out back here under the uh, cloudy skies and the wind. And joining us is John Koneski III of Pemberville, Ohio, longtime Ohio horseman who has an excellent reputation for developing uh, young trotting stock. And he has a trotter in the second race today that looks like the one to beat. It's number three, Range Over Showers. And John, you're five to two on the morning line. Well, that's always a good sign. Uh, the uh, guys doing the, uh, the lines like you uh, gives you a good feeling anyway. Now, last year she did pretty well, had six wins, made over 10 grand mostly in uh, fair stakes competition, a daughter of overcomer. This year hasn't made as much money, but is lightly raced. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a four-year-old, but yet she's really green. She raced very little as a two-year-old, and she just seems to uh, be a little green on some of the fine points of racing. And um, we're still working on that. Uh, she has uh, quite a bit of trot, and uh, we just get everything to go in at the same direction. We're okay. Everybody says that with trotters, you have to have a lot of patience, that it takes a lot of time, and they might be five, six years old before they really learn what it's all about and learn to trot over problems and uh, little things that get in their way. Absolutely. And um, the nice thing about a trotter, if you do get a really uh, a good one, they seem to last a lot longer than the pacers. and. Uh, you just have a really nice money-making horse for you for a number of years, longer than a pacer. Now, yesterday, we had to do a lot of work on the racetrack because of the rainstorm. We scraped it, threw some dirt out there. That sort of thing is in pretty good shape by the end of the day. You've been out there warming up. How is it this afternoon? It seems to be good. Uh, it might be off just a little bit because of yesterday's weather, but I think that it'll be a, a good fast track, at least uh, by the end of the program, when, after they worked on it more and more, it, it helps. Now, the cold weather and the high winds today, Roger and Dave didn't think it would be much of a factor. Everybody has to race over the same track. Do you drive any differently with the wind conditions the way they are? No, not today. They're not that severe. If we had, like, gale force winds or something, I may be a little more inclined to uh, try to get a pocket trip and, and to uh, save my horse a little bit more. But it's not that bad today, really. Now, not only do you train and drive horses, but you're actively involved in the political side of the game. You're the track director for Raceway Park up in your neck of the woods in Toledo, Ohio. And uh, how much time do you have to spend on the business side of the sport in addition to training and driving? Um, really, uh, it's like a day-to-day -day thing when I go up there. And since we just race on weekends, um, it's not that terrible bad unless we have problems such as contract negotiations or statewide issues, uh, legislation and so forth that we need to work on. Um, it is somewhat time consuming, but it seems to be hit and miss, so it's not like a constant drain. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but you were a school teacher by profession at one time and were racing horses on the side and so successful you decided to give up teaching. Uh, some of those cold winter mornings when things aren't going well and you've got to ship 100 miles to race, do you ever wish you were still teaching school? Uh, yes, <laughs> that does cross my mind, and plus I look at uh, some of the salaries that teachers are getting now with the state retirement programs and the insurance programs and so forth. Uh, it's not looking quite as bad now as it did then. <laughs> the sport of racing has been good to you, though. You have had some very good horses. You've won a lot of big stakes races. You've been able to, to compete on the top level, and you've earned a lot of respect from your fellow horsemen, and I think that speaks volumes for your success in the business. Yes, I think the respect of the fellow horsemen, and uh, I know a lot of good people in the business. Uh, we have a few bad apples, but I think every business has that. For the most part, we've got a lot of good people in the business. Everybody is friendly. They always say hello, and it's nice to like go back to states in Michigan where I haven't been too much lately, and everybody treats me like uh, you know I've only been gone a couple of days, so it's nice. Well, John Kanaski the third, thank you very much. Best of luck in the second race with range over showers. Let's send it back to the infield to Roger Houston.